ones. <laughs> They'll get there eventually. Mardi Gras celebrations in full force there in the Big Easy. The floats, the parade goers gearing up for the hours still left to come, Liz. <laughs> this is just the beginning, and that <laughs> means another full day of some of the most well-known parades. Callie Hubbard has been staked out from the French Quarter talking about what you need to know before you go. Callie, it's already been an eventful morning so far. Good morning. <laughs> Well, you saw it right there. It sure has. And I got to give it up to all the cleaning crews. We've been out here since around four this morning and they have been hard at work. They're still doing it. They're still trying to make sure that all of the streets are clear. This guy, I don't know what that man's saying, but he has been making sure that everyone is crossing the street safely. A lot of moving traffic in and out of here. And that's one of the safety reminders that they're talking about. We'll get into that in just a second. Lots of parades to the crew of Zulu. That's going to be rolling at eight this in, in about a half an hour or so, or people are probably still already out there grilling and whatnot. This is about the time last year that everyone starts to make their way out. A lot of folks look forward to the custom coconuts that they throw in at that parade. That is going to be from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. at South Claiborne and Jackson Avenue is where it starts. About 43 floats are expected in that one. Of course, after that, the crew of Rex, 10 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., and then following that, two more parades, including Crescent City Trunk Parade. Now, of course, there are some safety tips that we want you to keep in mind. You can actually go. They have this really handy website, ready.nola.gov. You can actually find restrooms nearby, charging stations, important information you're going to need to know before you go. And some of those safety tips, keep track of your group. Maybe take a selfie with your group. This is what the website was talking about. That, that way, in case you lose somebody in your group, you have a, a selfie to kind of refer to. So that is called the safety selfie. Now, enjoy the parades. Uh, make sure you plan ahead for the heavy traffic. We had a hard time finding parking this morning. And keep track of those personal belongings. I have a fanny pack with me all morning long that I've been keeping on the front of me just to make sure that no one's coming up behind me. Also report anything suspicious. They have law enforcement. They've been rolling around all morning to make sure that everyone is staying safe here and having a good time. Guys.